Hello and welcome back everyone to a truly heroic episode. Extra Baggage Claim has released issue 3 of Overfuel, the uh, I was about to say the only chonker superhero comic, but actually there are a few superhero comics we've read, but definitely one of the most epic, featuring, of course, Overfuel herself. Definitely check out Extra Baggage Claim. Uh, you can also buy the, wait, you can, you can buy the comic, commission. oh, you can commission him, very cool, and yes, uh, he, I presume he has a shop where he sells all his different comics, so yeah. So, Overfuel, so, in the last issue, I guess she defeated that giant candy monster lady, so I wonder what is going to be going on now. There's this other lady with a helmet with similar little white eyes, looking very cool. Cloud, cloud woman? I don't know. <laughs> Overfuel versus fat shaming. Hmm, that's probably <gasps> what it's about. Damn! Oh my goodness. Nine dollars? Pick up your copy from Barnes & Noble today. Page one. I'm so hungry! Let's stop for breakfast. We're going to an eating enthusiast con. There'll be food there. I could use the rest too. That's because you wanted to walk, Katie. Anyways, Star, we don't know what food. Canada serves us fries for breakfast and calls them hash browns. I want breakfast fries. I don't want to be late because of your appetite, Ivy. And you can get hash browns in America. They aren't actually hash browns, Renee. They're fries served with every breakfast. Pretending to be hash. What's that sound? Ooh. Yeah, they've got, like, like moving chairs. That's yeah, pretty mobility good <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool, actually. Overfuel! Slam! Excuse me, ladies. This will be quick. Wait, the states don't have breakfast fries? What you call hash browns? What? They... No! Wait, featuring Katie D, Renee Starr, and Ivy Davenport. Very epic. I'm a huge fan, Miss Fuel. You look even better in person. Totally. Thank you. You're all lovely yourselves. Man, a lot of respect. <laughs> Best great fans and great um hero, I guess. How do you make your hair so glowy? A uh, magic candy? Cool. <laughs> That's kind of true, actually. <laughs> nice to see a girl ass size kicking bottom in the limelight. I do my best. Am I their size already? <laughs> oh, no. Of all people, Overfuel probably would be a bit self-conscious being yeah. a public superhero figure, but at the same time, you're a superhero, so like... <laughs> Who did? Where are the best breakfast fries? Eviva, tell them to put it on my tab. How'd you get too big so fast? I love those games. Have superpowers fueled by candy, I guess? Wait, you want to get fat on purpose? Nunny? Impossible! I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Miss Fuel. It's okay, this is more a work hazard for me. But you three all... We're all pro-gainer models. Wait, so people pay you to get fat? Pretty sweet job. <laughs> yeah, but we enjoy it too. You can find me as Ivy Devport, at Hot Fatty Girl on Twitter, or SSBBW Ivy and Friends on Clips for Sale. Thank you for the sauces, Melissa. <laughs> the sauces lady. Are these legitimate people? I, I don't know, actually. Unless they are. They could be, aren't they? <laughs> I guess so. I've... I'm KTD. SSBBW KTD on Twitter, and SSBBW KTD on Clips for Sale. I guess you could call it a work hazard for us, too. Just a more fun one. I guess, I guess that's true. That was an interesting work hazard. I... Maybe these people are real. I don't know. I'm Renee Fox, Renee Star on Twitter, and SSBBW Renee Star and Clips for Sale. We were actually on our way to a con if you want to tag along. Oh my gosh, they are real people. What the heck? <sighs> Forgive me if I've been getting their voices complete. Oh my. Okay, yeah, confirm they are real people. That is quite cool, actually. I had not expected that. Uh, okay. Thank you for the invitation, but I've got to get our friend here to the authorities. And another thank you for the information. This explains a lot about my Twitter feed. Damn, Overfuel uses Twitter too? So, to Aviva? Definitely. Damn. Comedy parody superhero comic. Whoa. 
Love the character work. Also like how Candy is still learning about the FA world. Insert most ambiguous crossover meme here. Damn. Am I really that big? When did that happen? Guess I could see people thinking it's on purpose. Is that really a thing? Of course it's a thing. And it's not just creepy men getting people to do it? No, Candace. The people gaming like it too. And they don't worry about getting too... Too fat? Sorry. <laughs> don't be. Yeah, most people stop sooner. This can be hard. But I did this for me. I think it's hard. It's a bonus when some girl goes into it too, but... So you! What? Did you think this was an accident? I guess? You're cute, Candace. Yeah, this is a real thing. And speaking of which... Have a date with the feeder soon, so if you can stop introspecting and get back to your job. This is my apartment! I guess it must suck if you, if, if you uh, actually become very fat and don't, uh, aren't, uh, don't want to do it. <laughs> That's a bit of a frank yep. moment. Can it's especially the issue if you're stuck in a burning building, yeah. Your apartment that I'm stuck in. And whose fault is that? Now you're getting it. <laughs> Thanks, Trisel. I think I know what to do. A few nights later. With TVC, I'm Rebecca Desmond. Des Desmond? Thank you for tuning into Hero Hour. We have a new member on our panel of Canada's finest superheroes tonight. Wait, this, <laughs> this is Canada? Oh my god, I'm so used to it always being America, uh, U US. That's pretty cool. Okay, some of these are very, uh, very Canadian actually. Mountie Anne? That, I, that is epic. Why do we not have, like, I mean, I guess we do have a real superhero like that. She needs her own friggin' film, I'm telling ya. Welcome to our panel for the first time. Toronto's plus-size protector, Overfuel. Lumberjill. <laughs> Sleet. All right. I guess she's sort of like Storm, or I guess? Or... <laughs> Not Storm, just, just Sleet. <laughs> Expose. Now a hero is heading a talk show to take on her image issues directly. Hey look, it's a girl from the cover. Miss Fuel, what's it like being a larger woman as a hero? Isn't always easy. My powers have made me gain a lot of weight, and it comes with some difficulties. Like finding an outfit that still covers your body? Excuse me, I'm wearing an outfit that lets me move and look heroic. Exactly, heroic. Heroes are supposed to represent ideals and be a beacon of excellence. Putting yourself on that level is just glorifying obesity. Oh, no. why is the, this comic is getting very real, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is dealing with some Whoa. heavy topics, my dudes. Also, um, this lady, ha this lady has no, uh, this this lady does cannot claim the high ground. Like her outfit is just as bad. <laughs> if we're really going there, Overfuel is trying to take on her growing image problem directly, but seems to be meeting a level opposition in the form of expose. How will she combat this passive aggressive challenge? That's the worst challenges, because you can't just like punch passive aggressive challenges, can you? But yeah, that is all the pages we will read for now. We will be back soon with uh, the second part of this epic, epic issue three of Overfuel. Definitely check out each extra baggage claim. They have some very epic stuff. Upload uh, regularly and just, yeah. If you're definitely looking for some less anime looking sort of stuff, more of the sort of realistic style and some large sizes i guess um very very cool content well done as always and yeah i'm, I'm interested to see the, where this one goes this is yeah definitely uh definitely leave a like and uh tune in tomorrow see you all